Good morning, happy Monday. Today we're gonna have a very well-balanced and healthy day. We just got back from vacation in Toronto on Saturday and we had honestly the best time, but I'm definitely feeling like I've treated myself. So I just wanna get back into my normal routine now that we're home and I don't have much time left until I leave for my next contract. So um, I just wanna be in a really good routine with working out and eating healthy before I head there so I feel my best going into it. I have quite a few things that I want to do today. So we are going to get moving with the day. I need to step up my water intake today because I was definitely slacking when we were in Toronto. We were just walking so much and we brought a water bottle with us as we walked, but we didn't really have anywhere to refill it. So I was definitely not drinking enough water during the day. And then I tried to catch up at night, but it just never was enough, so. Catch up at night. Had some catch up at night. What? Had some catch up at night. No, I had to catch up at night. Moral of the story is I need to drink more water today. I'm gonna aim for a gallon of water today. Yeah. Cheers. Delish. I really wanna get lemons today so that I can have some lemon water because but we only have lemon juice in like a bottle here. Which I don't know if that's really the same effect. So maybe today we'll buy some lemons. We do need to go grocery shopping for a few things so I can add that to the list. We're doing something crazy. I mean, it's not that crazy, but I haven't I haven't done it in a while. We are going to go for a run. It's probably going to be like a short, cute little run. It's not going to be a marathon, you know. I haven't run in so long that my body will probably crumble if I do more than like 2 miles. So, so we're going to run and then I think when we're done with our run we'll continue on and just walk a bit more i really want to try and get in more steps today because when we were in toronto we were walking like 20 to 25 thousand steps a day which was great that's what i was pretty much doing the entire contract on voyager but since i've been home i just haven't been able to keep up with it so uh definitely want to hit at least 15 thousand steps today maybe 20 thousand if we if we we're getting crazy but i'm gonna wear these my dance align joggers, I have them in like five colors. These are the lilac ones. I'm gonna wear these because they're lined. So it's gonna keep me warm. And I'll do this Lulu top as well. Long sleeve. And then I will wear like a, a headband or something to keep me warm. Because I wanna say it's warmer today outside. I mean, I haven't been out yet, but we're gonna go with that. <laughs> All good. I actually might throw on like a little cropped quarter zip over top just to have another layer because I don't really want like my bare skin out since it's February in Buffalo, you know? Um, but here's the running fit head to toe Lulu. I'll have it linked because I'm just obsessed. Oh, and I did buy a few things from Lulu when we're in Canada, so we'll give you a haul later. Gotta put my little headband on. I look like a little boy, but it's fine. We're ready to go. <laughs> Whoops. We ran two miles and now we are just walking the way back because I personally feel like we could keep going running, but for the first day running after a really long time off, I think two miles is a good starting point. Then later today, I wanna take Coco Bean out for a walk. So we'll get some more steps in later, but I think this was a solid start for the morning. I'm feeling great, the endorphins are flowing. Time to do a little stretch. I'm gonna stretch out the legs before they get tight. Right, Coco Bean? Hi, baby. Hi. Let the sounds 
Um, and I'll soothe you. I just recently got the five minute journal. I'm sure you probably already have this because it seems like everyone and their mother has it, but I did get the light pink one. It's so cute and I'm so excited to use this because mental health is just as important, if not more important than your physical health. It goes hand in hand and journaling is always really beneficial. This is going to be a game changer in my routine. So I'm going to fill this out for the day. So each page has a quote I am grateful for, three things you have to list three things that would make today great and a daily affirmation. And then at the end of the day, you're supposed to fill out again with highlights of the day and what did I learn? So it's a very easy journal prompt and I like that they have it for every single day so you can get in a really good routine. But I'm so excited to use this. We've got a package from HelloFresh. I am so excited. Thank you so much, HelloFresh or sponsoring a portion of this video. You can pick from over 40 different recipes and have it shipped right to your door. So they give you pre-portioned ingredients as well as recipe cards, which makes it so easy to make a healthy and nutritious meal at home. As most of you know, I don't typically eat meat on a daily basis and HelloFresh is great because it caters to everyone no matter what your lifestyle or eating preferences are you can pick from calorie smart to carb smart veggie or even family friendly like there is so many different options so it is very convenient all the ingredients in here are of the highest quality they are traveled from the farm to your house in less than seven days so you know that they are extremely fresh so it is lunchtime. We are going to make lunch. We've got two veggie recipes in here, so we are gonna open it on up and cook it together. We've got a lemony spaghetti with Brussels sprouts, a shawarma chickpea and bulgur lettuce wrap. And we've also got a sweet corn and green pepper chowder. We're gonna make the chowder for lunch. It just looked so yummy. Mm. Wow. So nice, the bread's amazing. This is so delicious, so flavorful. I'm pretty proud of us. Yeah, this has been really fun and I feel like it's also a great way for someone trying to get more into cooking. It's a really easy way to learn. And it's also a really nice like date idea if you want to do something fun with a partner or even like a friend. I definitely recommend trying this for yourself. So go to hellofresh.com and use code jordanbouth 65 for 65% 65 off plus free shipping. Once again, go to hellofresh.com and use code jordanbouth 65 for 65% 65 off plus free shipping. It is time for another glass of water, but we're gonna have some greens. It wasn't on my official like goals and resolutions for 2023, but I figured it was time to start implementing green juice into my daily routine or try to at least. Maybe not every single day, but that's the aim. So I do have the OptiGreens from First Form. We're gonna just take a scoop and put it in some water and get our green servings in for the day. I'm putting about half a cup of water in these glasses just because I'm going to mix it and I don't want it to go everywhere. This is my favorite thing to use to, to blend it. It's just like a handheld mixer. I use it for coffee creamer, but also for powders. We're trying to become a green juice girly in 2023 because 
it's just something that needs to get done and it's another form of self-care. I feel like there's so many green juices out there that are disgusting flavors. This one actually does not taste bad at all. We're gonna head to get some groceries from Aldi and I do wanna use my new belt bag. So I wanna show you the few things I got from Lululemon when we were in Toronto. They've got new bags or at least I don't have a bag like this yet. I have the reverse where it's like black here and then white on the sides. But anyways, I digress. I got two things. First and most exciting, I got the everything or everywhere belt bag in black. It is the full size. This has been sold out online and in the Lulu in Buffalo for forever. So they had one left in store. I took that as a sign and I'm gonna wear this to the grocery store today. I love myself a good quarter zip cropped little jacket. So I got this like cream one. It has the thumb holes, which I love. There is a pocket with a zipper on the side and then it is a quarter zip. So it's a really lightweight material. It's kind of like the one I have from Amazon that I could not find today, but I'm so excited about this. I found this on the sale rack and then I got my sweat collective discount. So that is my little haul, but I'm gonna bring this with me. After all, the Callum's choice. <laughs> nice. We've made it home. We've got our groceries. Let's do a little grocery haul, if you will. Here's our little grocery haul. This is everything we got. In total, it cost $24, so not too bad. We didn't get too many things, as you can see, which made for a speedy speedy shopping experience. So first up we got mini chocolate chips because we're gonna make banana bread tonight, maybe tonight. Um, some bell peppers, two cucumbers, two zucchini. We wanna make zucchini spaghetti. So I have like a spiral already. Some strawberries, Greek yogurt, two cans of corn, black beans, garbanzo beans, another box of couscous, we got feta. I usually get the reduced fat, but they only had two of the original left in store. So we just went with that. And then some little mini avocados. So that's everything we bought. If you have a Keurig, you need the Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Just taking my hair out of the claw clip. It is not looking delightful, but the longer I keep it in, the more tragic it's gonna get. We are gonna take Coco for a walk. So it's actually not too cold out outside, so we don't really need to bundle up. I'm just gonna wear my new puffer coat I got. Um, this is the coat, it's from Zara, but I found it at like a really upscale thrift store. So we're gonna probably go for like a 30 to 45 minute walk and just get a few more steps in because I'm really trying to, you know, increase my steps as the day goes on. So yeah, come on, go, go. Now we're ready, right? This is so puffy actually. <laughs> huh? I look like a giant blueberry. It is really puffy. <laughs> oh. It's fashion, look it up, okay? We did a 2.2 mile walk and I am parched. So I'm gonna have a glass of water. It's 620 now, but I'm not hungry yet for dinner. So we'll probably bake something and then make dinner later. I am in the mood to go through my closet and do kind of like a speed clean. I'm not gonna go like into a deep dive, but I definitely do wanna get rid of a few things and try to downsize a bit. 
I usually do this before every single contract if I can just because I feel better leaving knowing that I've gone through this mess. Obviously, I can't pack everything in my closet. I have fall, winter, spring, and summer clothes all in my closet at one point. I don't swap it out. I just don't find a need for that and I have enough space to keep everything in here. That being said, there is still way too many clothes and I can guarantee you I don't wear everything in my closet. So I don't know where I've sparked this inspiration because I just got the idea and now I need to do it. So here we are. My plan is to start from the top left, work my way through the colors all the way over to the blue on the other side, and then I'm gonna move to the second row. And then I'm gonna go through like scarves, I wanna go through bags, that's my other closet in the bathroom, and then jeans, because this, I don't know if you can even see that. That is not necessary. It's just a wall of pants, so I definitely don't need all those. minutes you know it's so hard for me to get rid of everything on the bottom row so I have so much space now on the top because I think I'm slowly gravitating more towards neutrals just because I can mix and match easier so I might try to condense a little and then maybe my skirts can go on the top shelf just so that I have more room for this this stuff because it's very full but I did I did pull a bunch of things so we're doing well just went through this this is all of my scarves hats gloves things of that sort winter things and reorganized it and it looks so much better finally this is organized because this kind of was just a disaster everything was just thrown in there and it was a mess so now it looks pretty and organized I have finally tackled the closet I think we are just about done so after getting rid of a bunch of stuff, I ended up moving all of my black clothes to the top rack just to make more space for all the whites, creams, and browns. So now this is a little less cluttered. I got rid of some skirts. I have space for extra hangers. I went through this, so this is all organized because that was disgusting. Here's the pile of things I'm getting rid of. So there's a lot. I am either going to donate or try to sell. Just went to town on that for like an hour. I'm going to walk away now because there's still more I could keep doing. Um, it's 8 30 I'm really hungry so I think we're gonna have the Jennifer Aniston salad for dinner because that just sounds so good it's been a few days since I've had it here is everything we need for the salad so we've got spinach couscous feta cheese a cucumber some bell peppers pecans chickpeas and some olives and then for the dressing it's just olive oil with lemon juice and garlic salt and pepper I don't usually see
is seriously so easy to make and it looks so colorful and so filling and so delicious. Yum! If you haven't tried this yet, you need to try it out. So easy. It has been a successful day. We were planning to maybe make some banana bread. We didn't end up getting to that. We just kind of ran out of time today, but we had a pretty healthy day. I'm feeling like we're back on track and tomorrow we are going snowboarding. So I'm really excited for that. If I can get any GoPro shots, I'll answer them at the end of the video. But um, we're going to go tomorrow for like four hours. Really looking forward to it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.